This is an updated 2019 install of Security Onion on VirtualBox. I've provided a few links in the video's description. The first is to download the Security Onion ISO. Next is for VirtualBox. Um, I have a Windows host, so I'm going to click this link. I've already downloaded and installed VirtualBox. Uh, the third link is to the switch that I'm using. You're going to need a switch capable of port mirroring. You're going to configure a port on that switch for mirroring and connect that to a secondary NIC on your home IDS machine. That's what it's going to be used for sniffing of the traffic. So I've already installed VirtualBox. So we'll go ahead and open that up. And we're going to say, click, we're going to click new for a new VM. We're going to say home IDS is the name and we'll change the type to Linux. We'll keep that at Ubuntu 64-bit and say next. I'll give it 16 gigs of memory. Give it whatever you can. Uh, we'll say next. We'll say create the hard disk. VDI, we'll say next. Dynamically allocate, next. I'm going to choose where the VDI image is stored. I'm going to put this on a separate hard drive. I'll save it here. And I'm going to give the VDI image 100 gigs. And say create. All right. Now we're going to go to settings. And under general, advanced tab. I'm going to change where the snapshot folder is saved to. I'm going to put this on another hard drive. And select folder for snapshots. I'm going to go to system. And boot order, I'm going to unselect floppy. And demote that under processor. I'm going to give this four virtual cores. Give it as many as you can. Under display, I'm going to crank the video memory storage. I'm going to click the disk empty icon and click the disk icon on the right. Choose virtual optical disk file. And this is going to be the security onion ISO that we downloaded earlier. We'll say open. Uh, then we're going to go to Network, uh, Adapter 1. We're going to change this mode from NAT to Bridged. And this is going to be the adapter that's connected to your internal network. We're going to expand this. We'll click Advanced. We're not going to change anything here. But when we go to Adapter 2 and enable that, we'll change the adapter type to Bridged. And... The adapter that we're going to select is the secondary NIC that's connected to that switch um, with port mirroring, or the port that's configured for mirroring. We're going to change the promiscuous mode to allow all, and uh, that's it. We're going to say OK. And we'll say Start. The VM will boot. And once it's booted, we'll go ahead and double click install security onion uh, welcome to say English continue um, I like to download updates and third-party software we'll say continue we'll say install now change anything there continue My time zone is correct. I'll say continue. The keyboard layout, we got to click at the top and drag over a little bit. Um, but my keyboard layout's correct. I'll say continue. Change my name to squirrel and my computer name to home IDS. I'll put my password in here. And I'll say continue. And it's going to go ahead and install. 
So I'll go ahead and fast forward through that. All right, everything's installed. We're going to say restart now. Fast forward through the restart of the box. Once it starts back up, we'll put our username and password in there. All right, then we're going to double click on setup. Put our password in. Welcome to the Security Onion setup. We'll say yes, continue. We'll say yes, we want to configure your network interfaces. Uh, the first network interface that we'll select will be our internal NIC. We'll say OK. We want to configure a static IP address for that. I'll make that 192.168.0.77. Say OK. 255.255.255.0. OK. Gateway is 192.168.0.1. OK. DNS 192.168.0.1 and I'll also do 8.8.8.8 .8 for Google. Say OK. Uh, my domain is farside.com. Click OK. Uh, and yes, you want to configure a sniffing interface. This is going to be our secondary NIC. It's the only one we can select. We'll say OK. And yes, make changes. Uh, we're going to say yes, reboot. And I will fast forward through that reboot. We'll log back into the box. All right, we're going to have to click setup, double click setup again, and we'll log into that. We'll say yes, continue. And we'll skip the network configuration where I did that. We're going to keep this in evaluation mode, um, but if you wanted to switch to production mode, you could choose not to install certain services that may conflict with, say, Splunk, which we're going to install. But for now, we're going to keep it on evaluation. Say OK. Um, the monitoring interface is going to be our secondary NIC. We'll say OK. We're going to create a username and password to log into some of the services Security Onion is going to install. So this is going to be different than our install for the box, but I'm using the same username. We'll say yes, proceed with changes. I'll fast forward through this install again. All right, everything installed. We can click OK. It's going to give us some information um, about the services, the downloads, accessing via SSH, different FAQ information, training. Uh, now that we've done click through all that, everything's installed. So I'm going to go ahead and expand out the window here so we can get a better view. And I'm going to open up Squirt, and we're going to trigger an IDS signature to make sure that sniffing is working correctly. So we're going to click through the cert warning. We're going to log in here. And you can see some alerts have already generated. This is a static page, so we're going to have to cl keep clicking refresh to see some new alerts. Um, so now what we're going to do is open up a browser, an incognito window, and we're going to go to testmyids.com. And this is going to produce a string that Snort is going to flag on one of its signatures for testing. We see that we have an alert here that wants us to refresh. We'll click that, 
and we can see this attack response ID alert that fired. Um, we'll go ahead and expand that out. You can see some more information. Uh, we can expand that further. See the source and destination. Uh, we can see part of the traffic, part of the packet that was sent, the hex, some strings from that. Um, we can also look at the packet capture information. If we go up here and click on the event ID, CapMe is going to extract everything out. Um, it's going to save it all from this PCAP file right here. And we can kind of go through and see what was going on with this signature. Um, we'll come down here and we'll look for the attack signature that it fired off of. So looks like everything's working. Um, last thing we'll do is right click on the desktop and say open terminal. And we're going to issue the sudo soup command. And this is going to go ahead and update Security Onion in all of its services. So essentially that's it for this video. Um, next video is going to be installing Splunk on top of Security Onion. Thanks for watching.